It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Yeah, yeah. So we have we have a really a really good show for you today. I'm really excited about it. Are you excited to see what we've got for you? Yeah. All right, that's what I like to hear. Uh, before we get going, uh, could we give it up? We have a camera operator whose name is Jim, who it's their 21st birthday today. Yeah, they're spending their 21st birthday with us, so if the camera's a little shaky, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> so, uh, according to the Tacoma News Tribune, a Puyallup area mom found a kidney transplant match on Facebook. Yeah, but it turns out that it wasn't a kidney, just a picture of Mark Zuckerberg's face. <laughs> Uh, I hope people don't start looking for internal organs on Facebook because that'd be a huge hit to Craigslist. <laughs> so a Lakewood Denny's closed because according to them, and I quote, regular customers either moved away, passed away, or changed their tastes. I, <laughs> I think that changed their tastes is a fancy way to say stop doing drugs late at night. <laughs> Have you been to Denny's? I don't know. <laughs> So Como News reported that two rabid bats on, or they reported that two rabid bats were on an Auburn sidewalk outside the outlet malls. Uh, luckily, nobody was injured, and the two angry shoppers were returned to the outlet. <laughs> A man was mistakenly released from King County Jail recently. He was able to conceal his identity with a group of inmates. Uh, yeah, he, they said that he has a giant tattoo of the word Zoom on the back of his head. Yeah. I always wonder what happened to the kids from that show. <laughs> Guess he decided to stick with the stripes. <laughs> Cairo 7 reported that Seattle has almost the worst drivers in over 200 cities across the country. Yeah, which is maybe because people drive so slowly in the left lane. <laughs> I guess when you put the number 12 on every single car, that's how fast people go. <laughs> I think that the Seahawks would change their slogan to the 65th man, because then people would drive the speed limit, and with that many people, hey, maybe the Hawks would win a game. Skull Vikings. So uh, a person got pulled over this month for driving an oversized load of mattresses on the freeway. Why would anyone have or need that many mattresses? If it's because they're an artist, I think they very well captured the perfect Parkland version of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> I think the only thing that would make it more sketchy is if the mattresses were the ones that PLU gives us. <laughs> I'm in my fourth year of those mattresses. I've got two really good comforters, though, so it works out. Uh, do you remember all the smoke? Do you remember what that was like? Do people remember? Oh, yeah, groans. Um, yeah, Washington was filled with smoke that was coming in from Canada and the surrounding areas, and everybody kept talking about how bad the air quality was and that it was as bad as Beijing. I heard that so many times, and in a time where we're in a trade war with China, it's nice to hear that we're focusing on the things we have in common. <laughs> There was a Facebook event called Throw Rocks at the Smoke to make it go away. Yeah. And it had over 100,000 attendees. <laughs> Typical Washingtonians thinking everything can be solved by being stoned. <laughs> Speaking of stoners in Washington, legal pot, 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 not plot, pot may be leading to an increase in pollution and some runoff from the marijuana industry is getting past filters and into the Puget Sound. In other words, the fish have been biting everything that comes their way. The fishermen have stopped using fishing bait and are just using Taco Bell. So we have a great show for you tonight. We have Adam Utley here today from McGraw's New